This instructional video is going to be defining the graphic novel versus that of the typical comic book. Graphic novels and comic books are very similar in the sense that they both have panel style illustrations that do a large part of the storytelling. And although both of them have these illustrations and they involve um, dialogue between characters and these kind of bubbles that pop out of their mouths, those are really the major only similarities that you might find between the two. They might seem very similar based on look and appearance, but they're actually quite different. Comics are more like periodicals. They're produced monthly, and there's a great deal of action in the storyline in order to progress the plot forward. Also, most comic books are centered around superheroes and their villains. Um, and although some graphic novels also use mythology and superheroes in the supernatural world in order to tell a story, comic books are typically known for doing just that. Now, that's not to say you won't ever receive full character development or an entire plot from beginning to end in a comic book. You're just going to receive it over the course of multiple series of comic books as they're released. So what about the graphic novel? Well, the graphic novel reads a lot like a typical classic novel. Um, and why we might actually read some graphic novels are for a variety of reasons. One being, we tend to like to use them to escape from typical novels or textbooks. But additionally, actually reading a graphic novel requires a great deal of analysis. You have to pick up on the nuance uh, and be able to analyze and use proper interpretation through a completely different literacy, which is media literacy. And that's being able to look at the illustrations along with the minimal text that you receive in order to fully interpret and understand what is going on in the story. There have been a great deal of very successful um, graphic novels that have been published over the course of the years, one of them being Persepolis. Um, another is Art Spiegelman's Mouse, which actually won a Pulitzer Prize in 1992. We'll be reading Jin Lin Yang's American Born Chinese. And this particular graphic novel has three different storylines that are interwoven, and it really allows for a deeper character development and provides a full narrative from beginning to end, which in essence is one of the major differences between the graphic novel and the comic book.